And now, for tonight's starting lineups. First on Bora, number one, Sammy Norton. Number four, or number three, Jordan Holman. Number six, Zoe Parker. Number eight, Katie Manchester. Number 10, Emma Anderson. Number 12, Julia Magnuson. And the Lamera, number four, Gabby Stadnow. My board is coached by Kurt Cohen. And good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us for this varsity volleyball match between Oregon and Mount Horeb. Apologies for my late start. I was down doing the PA announcing and had to book it back up here. Ooh, good coverage on the tip by the Panthers. Free ball. See what they can do with it. Oh, good block. Nice idea by Bloyer. Mount Horeb had the tip covered. This is a good rally.
And Mahora puts it down. <clears throat> so a quick recap, this is our first home match for the Oregon Panthers this year. It's really nice to be back in the gym. I don't know how many of you joined us for the junior varsity match <clears throat> or were able to hear us during the junior varsity match. But this is our first home date for the Panthers. Oh. We had a girl with earrings in during the JV match. <clears throat> So this is our first home match for the Panthers. They're playing Mount Horeb. Tied up 2-2 in the first set. Oh! Bad luck. Emma had the right idea and just couldn't push it down. We have Rachel in to serve. Oh. <clears throat> this is the third match of the year for the Panthers. They started, they started the season uh, on the road at a neutral site playing at Beaver Dam and lost to Wanakee. And then last year, or last week, oh, nice hit. Free ball for the Panthers. Okay, no touch at the net. Out of bounds. And then they recently won at Monroe in a five set, really close match. So they're one on one, one and one on the year. Emma pushes it, not able to find the floor. Tip. Oh. Over the block and in front of the defense. <laughs> Called a lift on Mount Horeb. Grayson checks in for Issa. Megan Bloyer back to serve. They're able to cover the tip. Put Grayson in a tough spot. Not able to get it over. So I watched most of the Monroe set, and one of the things that really jumped out to me is the Panthers really had really aggressive serves. I lost count of the number of service aces they had in that match. We'll see if they're able to keep that up tonight. Oh, and she got out of the way. Smart play. Push it off the block and was able to avoid it as it fell out of bounds. <coughs> Swenson rotates out, Maddie Malcook in the serve. Nice serve. <laughs> nice spot by Mount Horeb.
Right idea by Bloyer. And she was able to get a hand on it, but not able to bring it back. <coughs> Good eye by the Panthers. <clears throat> okay, Lizzie and Grace sub in for Rachel and Olivia. Oh! I also feel like the tip bit the Panthers a couple of times in Monroe. So it'd be good to see if we can move our feet and get in on those a bit more tonight. Oh. Issa's coming in to take the serve. Nice serve. <coughs> oh, nice swing off. So if you're able to catch any of the JV match I commented on this, it is, it's great to be back in the gym. It's great to be watching live volleyball again. The energy in the gym is definitely different. Uh, you can probably see it on the screen. Uh, good eye, Panthers. You can probably see it on the screen, but we definitely got a limited audience here tonight. <coughs> Bleachers across from us are pushed back. Benches are spread out. Uh, we do have the upper bleachers, which uh, I don't normally see for, for volleyball, and I think that's just for the um, the other players right now. <coughs> and then we've got... Uh, Panthers are in the net. Yep. Um... And then the stands below us, each player is only allowed to bring two people, and I think they have to be from your household. Nice swing by Emma. Whoa. <coughs> down. There we go. Nice kill by Bloyer. And so with, with limited people in the gym, it's just a different energy. You know, we don't have a student section going crazy on either side. Quick recap, we're in the first set here. Oregon down 10 to 12. Okay, use it. Yup. Right on the line, perfect spot. <coughs> Both teams playing tight. <coughs> Oh, 
Man, good job that the block got up there and took something off that. Oh, nice swing by Bloyer. Mount Hart able to bring it back, free ball over. Still alive. That was a nice recovery by Swenson. Unfortunately, Panthers were not able to get the point out of it. She got jammed at the net and was able to keep it alive and the Panthers were able to send it back over. But Mount Horv got a good swing. <laughs> Yeah. When you get a nice pass, it's good to set your middle. You didn't get a ton on that, but was able to bounce it off the bounce it off the block and caught the libero leaning the other direction. Bloyer back to serve. Get there. Get up. Someone. <laughs> Bondra swaps in for Swenson. Nice aggressive serve. <coughs> nice serve by Mel Cook. Nice idea by Math. Good up. Oh, not able to bring it back. That was a nice defensive play in the in the back by Bloyer. Able to get under that. Those outside swings have been trouble for the Panthers tonight. and they were right there. Let's see if they can get on a little mini run and tie this up. All right. Con up and Grace back in. Nice serve. That's trouble. Yep. Oh, boy. That was a tough one. They called, they called Mac in the net. I don't have a great angle from here. She wasn't complaining. So we bring it back. You know what? I think one of the Panthers might have clipped the net on that one too. I don't know if it's somebody's blocked approach or what. <coughs> Panthers call a timeout. And we'll take a breather too.
So if you just joined us, if you've just joined us, this is set one of the varsity match between the Oregon Panthers and the Mount Horb Vikings tonight. It's Panthers' first home game. Mount Horb's currently up 19 to 15 in this first set. Feels like the Panthers gotta find a way to get Mount Horeb out of system because when Mount Horeb is able to set their outsides cleanly, um, it's been it's been trouble. This is uh, such an interesting year. Another example, uh, we got a couple volunteers keeping book. Oh man, just didn't quite make it out, out of bounds. Nice swing by Mack, off the block. Came down on the Panthers sidelines. Oh, nice save. over. Yeah! Way to be, Mac. Pretty much a slam dunk on that. You still back to serve? Panthers need a run here. Nope. That one did not make it over the net. Four count. Easy keeps it moving. Nice serve. Oh. Set point here in set number one for Mount Horeb. Oh, shoot. All right, so the Panthers dropped the first set 17 to 25. They didn't get too many opportunities to, to really serve as aggressively as I saw against Monroe. So we'll see if that changes in set number two. I think a big challenge was the outside attack from Mount Horeb. And uh, I think the Panthers need to find a way to keep Mount Horeb out of, out of system so that they don't have as easy of a time uh, s setting up their outsides for those big swings. <clears throat> Need to stay aggressive near the net. Both Swenson and, and Mack had some, some pretty fun plays up there. Be nice to see uh, if, if the Panthers can capitalize on that as well. All right, well, I'm going to step away for a moment while we wait for the second set. Uh, 
All right, and we are ready for, just about ready for set number two. As we just take a look up and down the lineup <clears throat> for the Panthers, we've got Lizzie, Maddie, Megan, Grace, Michaela, and Gracie ready to ready to go. Nice serve. That's what we wanted. That's how we wanted to start. Now let's use it. Unfortunately, no touch. That's the setup you're looking for. Nice up, oh. Lizzie was able to get that up off the ground, but there wasn't anyone there ready to put it over. Get down. <laughs> there we go. That was a nice pass, nice set. Found the right spot on the defense to put it down. He's saying for Gracie. Back to serve. Nice aggressive serve. And again, that's what you want. Turn it into a point. Let's do it again, Panthers. Get there. Dang it. <clears throat> nice pass. Oh, I don't know if that was a miscommunication or what. Oh, shoot. Nice play. Get it up. Bring it back. All right, that started with a good pass. So let's see if the Panthers can do that again. Yep. Nice idea, Megan. Great eyes. <clears throat> All right, Sid checks in for Matt to take the serve. Swenson rotates in to the front row. There we go. I didn't want to say anything before she served, but Sid had some great service uh, at Monroe. So it'd be great to see her keep that up. Get up.
Manny with the attack. Good up by Lizzie. Able to turn it into an attack. Get the block up. Oh, discombobulated on the Mount Horb side. Right on the net. Dang it. Dang it, the hitter was able to swipe it away. All right, Panthers down four to eight here in the second set. Nice pass, move fast. Yes! Not exactly how Emma drew it up, but that's a point. Okay, Liv and Rachel checking back in for Lizzie and Grace. Rachel back to serve. Panthers are hanging in there in this second set. They need to get on a bit of a run. Nice serve. <laughs> That's the recipe. Keep them out of system. Oh, good up. Oh, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Megan back to serve. Yes! Nice swing by Gracie. Finding a spot in between the block. Able to put it down. Mal Cook back to serve. Good eye. All right, Panthers within one. Blockers scrape the net on their way back down. Gracie did well to take a little bit off that one. She had a pretty tough angle. <coughs> Lizzie back to serve. Grace subs into the front row. Get there, get there. Oh. That was a sharp angle, too. All right, let's get a good pass here, Panthers. Someone needs to help that.
Nice. Good coverage. Oh, Libero just able to get enough on it. But Point Panthers. That was a really good idea by, I think it was Mac, looking to that deep corner again. The Mount Horrible Libero made a good play on it to keep it in. Uh, but they weren't able to get an effective attack on it, so worked out. Lisa back to serve. There we go. It's over. Can't just swipe it back and pull. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say it was too bad that they weren't able to get a more, a more controlled, either a more controlled push down or a, a, a bigger swing on that overpass, but worked out. Hey! -hey! Panthers on a little bit, little bit of a run here in the second set. I'd say it's been reinvigorated energy from the service line. Monty. Oh. In the net. Nice scramble by the Panthers. Now they got to get back to base. Another tip. Picked it up. Sent it over. Over, over. Ooh. That was uh, four good plays in a row. Ended up calling Megan on the, on the turn and shove. But good play, Panthers, to stay in that. Up. All right. Let's not let it get away from us here. It's back to that solid passing. Up. Yeah, there it is. Timeout Panthers, gonna talk it over. Well, thanks for joining us here at Oregon High School for this varsity matchup between the Oregon Panthers and the Mount Hoare Vikings. As I said at the top of the top of the broadcast, this is the first home match for the Panthers uh, so far this year. Um, they are one and one. Uh, they played at a neutral site, Beaver Dam, and lost uh, uh, against Wanakee in their first first match of the year. And then they uh, recently went on the road and won at Monroe in five sets. Um, it's exciting to be back in the gym. Definitely a different experience. We've got uh, what feels like about 10% as many fans as we normally do. Each, each player is, I think, allowed to bring two family members to the game so we don't have our rowdy student section. Uh, we don't have, um, you know, both, both sets of bleachers pulled out. So if there's any energy in the gym, we need the girls to be bringing it themselves. I think the Panthers are doing a good job talking down there. Um, definitely be looking to see if they can get some solid, solid passes out of serve, receive, and set up their attack, and then get back to um, uh, uh, aggressive swings on their side. Oh, we had a couple of those dribble over the net already. Those are, that's tough news. 
14-18. You don't want to get too far away here. They've been playing point for point with Mount Horeb for most of this set. Nice. Come on, Megan. Good up, good up. I think that was another Panther net call. I think it was down either way. <laughs> Called the center for a double, didn't didn't occur to me that it was a double, but this is varsity, so we're gonna be pretty tight on those. Sid back to serve. Another nice serve. Out. Good eye, good eye. Cook back in for Mac. All right, Liv and Rachel check back in. point. Rachel back to serve again. Well. Eighteen twenty two here in the second set. Time off Panthers. So I haven't been tracking it. Uh, what what was the score each point? But I feel like the Panthers have played right with Mount Horeb this set except for one or two times when they let Mount Horeb go on a, go on a run. Um, we'll see what they cook up in this timeout and see if they can get the serve back. 18 to 22, there's still time to, to strike and get on a run here and get back into this set. Panthers lost the first set 17-25 and we're now 18 to 22 Mount Horeb in set number two. Setting the lineup for the Panthers. We've got Swenson, excuse me, Liv, Megan, Rachel, Maddie. Say. Megan helped it out. On the line.
That was a tough one. Nice pass. Oh, nice try by Matty, but not able to get it over. It'll be set point, Mount Horeb. And Mount Horeb takes the second set, 18 to 25. I feel like the Panthers played better in that second set than they did in the first. It was a pretty close to the same outcome. Uh, unfortunately, they got stuck in a rotate, couple rotations that they had trouble getting out of, and that really ended up being the difference. Um, service was good. Um, had a couple of runs where they were really putting uh, Mount Hora out of system and, and making it harder to get those big outside swings. Um, and then just playing scrappy defense and bring, popping the ball up when they could. Um, all right, well, they're going to take two minutes, and I'm going to step away as well. We'll see you back here for set number three. And we're back for the start of, and we're back for the start of set number three. Mon Horb took the first two sets, 17-25, 18-25. On the Panther sidelines, we've got, or on the Panther side, we've got Panthers did not know that the ball had been blown in. Sending a free ball over. Oh. So on the Panther side, we have Grace, Mac, Megan, Maddie, Gracie, and Lizzie. <laughs> I feel like this is how the second set started. Let's see if we can get a better start going. Here we go. Gracie with the serve. That was the right idea on, the, on where to put that last ball. Keep the good energy going, Panthers. Pass by Maddie. 
Big block by Mount Horeb. Penny Megan's attack back. It kind of rolled off the table and Gracie wasn't, wasn't ready to get up there. Sid subs in for Mac to serve. Swenson in the front row. Megan with the right idea. She's good at varying the shots. It's not always the same, you know, hard cross. She'll definitely take something off, tip, roll. Take what the defense gives you. <clears throat> and we got Rachel back to serve. And Liv, Liv uh, subbed into the front. Oh, it looked like a lift or. <laughs> Mount Horeb was definitely scrappy on those. <laughs> but that was a double contact. Point Panthers. Rachel back to serve. Three ball for the Panthers. Fortunately, Emma got underneath that one, sent it out of bounds. That was a really good dig in the back row by Mount Horeb, and it was a great idea by, I don't know who it was who pushed it, Megan, Liv, whoever pushed it to that deep corner. It was a really good idea, just didn't work out this time. Help it out. <laughs> All right, Panthers take a timeout. Mont Horeb's up five to ten here in the third set. Mount Horeb won the first two sets, 17-25 and 18-25. Panthers got to figure out a way to get on a fast track here. They want to play into the fourth set. Ticking the tape. Panther send it back. Panther send it back. And Hope keeps it alive. Free ball to the Panthers. Been a good rally so far. Maddie with the roll. Come on, big D. Played the tip well. Tough 
kickoff point. Panthers played that well, really stayed active. Unfortunate when they don't fall for you. And another tip. Oh, nice pass. Ooh. Yep, definitely a touch. That was a nice swing by Bloyer. Here we go. Mount Horeb needed a lineup check, but everyone, everyone's in the right spot. Issa with another. That is service aces and service errors are both down. Issa just booked two aces in a row. Let's see if she can make it three. Oh, nice recovery by uh, Mount Horeb. Come on. Double contact on the Panthers. Ends the little mini run. Let's see if they're able to side out and get the serve back. All right, there we go. Kind of a non-traditional attack. I don't know if Gracie swung at it with her fist or what, but Mount Horb not able to return it. Maddie back to serve. Oh. some confusion. Yeah, it's a little discombobulation on that free ball. Lizzie wants to check back into the match. It's gonna be a little bit. <laughs> oh. putting it out of bounds. Oh, big block. Oh, but out of bounds. <clears throat> Got their hands up there. Oh, Jen's telling him you gotta push over. Panthers take a timeout. 
Von Horb's up two sets to none right now, so the Panthers got to get back into it. We'll have Liv, Matt, Rachel, Lisa, and Maddie. <clears throat> Mount Horeb is serving up 17 and 13. None on the Panthers. I feel like serve receive has been a lot more consistent here in this third set. Oh, nice up. Oh, so close to a touch. She wanted to touch it. She tried to touch it. Um, I think the Panther serve receive has been improved in this set. They just haven't been able to put the ball down. All right, Panther staying scrappy there. Come on, Gracie. There we go. Yes. I almost celebrated too early. All right, now it's time for Lizzie to come back in. <clears throat> Lizzie and Grace check back in. Lizzie to serve. Panthers need a big run here. Good cover. Get up there. Man, nice swing. Oh, yeah. That move has been there for Mac tonight. That push to the deep corner works again. Yep, there you go. Because he's varying up the speeds and the, the varying up her serves, keeping the, the defense moving. That's a double call on Mount Horeb. Brings us to Oregon 14, Mount Horeb 18. And varying the location effectively. Tip, Gracie's there for the coverage. As he sends it over, covered the tip. Come on, Panthers. Lefty swing. Oh, good up by Issa, that's gonna be right at the net. That's net. That's net. Heavens to Betsy. I get that they're down there and I'm up here, but I do not agree with that call. I thought she was in the net. <laughs> oh. Gracie changed her mind at the last minute. Was able to get her hands on it. Set back up again for that another push to the deep corner. Oregon 15, Mount Horeb 19, Gracie back to serve. Oh, nice cover. Nice play by the Panthers. Dig that one out. Oh, good touch. Oh, how did Mount Horeb dig that out? Oh, 
Nice rally. Panthers cover the tip. Got to get up there. There we go. Nice point. Nice point for the Panthers. Greasy back to serve. Uh-oh. That one got in front of her. I'm surprised she caught up to it. Good dig. Get up there. Oh, blocking in. Panthers are playing with a lot of energy right now. It's fun to watch. All right, 16-20. We have Bloyer, Maddie, and Gracie back for the serve-receive. Out. Good eye. <laughs> Someone on the Panther sidelines was excited about that one. All right, Swenson rotates into the front row. Sit in to serve. Yep, that one's a little bit of trouble. Oh. Put it down. Nice block. Mount Horeb reloads. Nice dig. Sid sets it up. That's going to be trouble again. Nice play at the net by Mount Horeb, unfortunately. Sid's serve was really good. 17-21. Mount Cook back in. Oh. That one got in on, got in on her in a hurry. Stepped in front of her libero, too. <laughs> not, not how the Panthers drew it up, but it works. All right, Liv and Rachel back in. Rachel back to serve. Nice. Whoa. Big block out of the Panthers. Couldn't tell, was that Swenson? I mean, Swenson had to be in the middle of that. Panthers bench is staying loud. Oh. Yep. Megan with another kill. Timeout on Horeb. Panther bench is making some noise. We've got ourselves a game. It's been some, some good serves out of the Panthers. They're staying scrappy. They're doing a good job getting the ball to their setter. They're doing a good job finding the spots on the floor. They're taking, they're taking what the defense gives them. You know, we've only had a, a couple of couple of situations all night where the Panthers have hit into a big block. I think it's moments like this that kind of make me miss the rest of the fans. Hopefully the Panthers are able to add their energy back as soon as they come out of this timeout because <laughs> it's pretty quiet in here. <clears throat> All right. So when we, when we come back to action, 
The Panthers are serving down one, 21-22 in set number three. Not horrible in the first two sets, so we're looking to win this one to move on to set four. Oh, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Oh, really good hustle out of Gracie. Mount Horrible with the serve. Panthers looking for a good, good, good pass into a nice set. Oof, oof. Oh. Get up there. Good rally. Yeah! Oh! That is a tough call at that point in the game. I thought that was a great play by Emma. I thought she put that down. And they said she reached all the way over the net. I don't know about that. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, match point, Mount Horeb. Issa with the serve. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, Mount Horeb wins set three, 20, 22-25. Um, so just to recap, Mount Horeb does win all three sets. Um, first one, 17-25, second one, 18-25, third, 22-25. I felt the Panthers just kept getting better all night. They played so well in that third set. They really came with the energy. They played really hard. I thought the, the um, passing on serve-receive was really, really good in that third set. They stayed aggressive. A um, couple of things that, that stood out to me tonight is just uh, scrappy play on defense. Um, I thought Megan Bloyer did a really good job mixing up her attacks, uh, You know, not just swinging hard cross every time she got the ball, being thoughtful with her tips, uh, her roll shots. I thought it was awesome seeing Mac uh, push to the deep corner. I feel like she got three or four kills that way. Um, Swenson had really big presence at the net, including uh, kind of a, a tough call late in the third in the third set. Um, overall, I thought the Panthers played really well. Uh, score doesn't necessarily back that up, but it was it was really fun to watch. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to sign off. Hope you have a great rest of your night.